No permission? Let's learn how to respond. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving deep into a very important and interesting topic, responding to permission requests. When someone asks for your permission, how should you respond? This session will help you understand and use English language modal verbs in this context. Buckle up, and let's get started. In any language, we have formal and informal ways to ask for or give permission. In English, we often use modal verbs to express this. Specifically, we use can, could, may, might. When someone asks you a permission-related question, they might say, Can I borrow your pen? Could I take a break? May I use your phone? Might I ask a question? You see, they are all different ways of asking permission, but what happens when we want to say, no? When we need to respond negatively to a permission request, we typically use the following structures. No, you can't. No, you couldn't. No, you may not. No, you might not. These are direct and often considered formal. For more informal or polite situations, we can say, I'm sorry, but you can't. I'm afraid you can't. Unfortunately, you may not. Remember, tone and context matter a lot in English. Although you're using a negative response, it's important to maintain a respectful tone. Sometimes, we want to give a reason for our negative response. You can follow your negative response with, because, and then your reason. For example, no, you can't because it's against the rules. I'm sorry, but you can't because I'm using it right now. Unfortunately, you may not because it's not allowed. By adding a reason, you're not only refusing permission but also helping the other person understand why, which can be very helpful in maintaining good communication. Now, you've also got to know how to form negative permission questions. These questions are used when you expect a negative response or want to emphasize the seriousness of the request. Here are some examples. Can't I stay a bit longer? Couldn't I just finish this chapter? May I not take a break? These sentences show that the speaker expects a negative answer or is emphasizing the seriousness of their request. And that's it for today's session on responding to permission requests. Remember, the way you respond to permission requests can greatly affect the way your communication is perceived. Being polite and considerate, even in refusal, can go a long way in maintaining positive relationships. I hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for more on our English language learning journey. Happy learning, everyone!